Hello, this is Erica, not Baus. And today I'm going to be talking about the Gini, or would it be Genie Prisma Strips. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to be calling it Genie, because I don't know what the name actually is, and I don't know how to find out. So, what I'm going to be doing is talk about this. This is already installed on my computer right now, like right around my desk. And right now what you see is the Monster Basics RGB strip. You can barely see that shade of blue in comparison to the light that's all around me. But how about these Genie strips? Are they really any brighter? Well, you bet your bottom dollar they are. So I'm going to go to my app and turn that on. You might think, oh, well, that's only a bit brighter. Well, let's crank it up. So, yeah, it's, it's brighter. Let's turn this light off. There you go. What a difference. It actually uses the Wi-Fi from your internet. So if you don't have internet and you don't have Wi-Fi, I guess you can't really control it. So if you have internet, which most people luckily do, the app itself is actually very, very responsive. So I'm going to go to the app right now on my phone. And let's load this up. I downloaded it off the App Store. I just looked up G-E-E-N-I. And I have to actually register my actual Wi-Fi to actually get this to work. Before we get too carried away, this does work with Google and does work with Alexa. Of course, I don't have either of those. I don't have any smart home products. But what I do have is a cell phone, a mobile phone. And, well, that works perfectly fine. Before we continue on, I'd like to point out that I purchased these strips here at Canadian Tire in Canada. The price actually being 30 to 40% cheaper than Amazon Online. Well, that was a reason to purchase this course in store. And the strips itself, one thing to point out, is the paper material peels off the strips nicely. It's not a battle like it is on the Monster Basics, and it doesn't take the adhesive material with it. It sticks multiple times, as long as your surface is clean. And of course, your mileage will vary based on the material and the type of paint you're actually connecting to. I believe that my desk itself, I'm pretty sure it's an enamel type paint. And of course, it also has waterproof type material over these strips. Once the app is all set up, your email address, password, registered with the strips itself and actually linked together because it'd be flashing a certain tone and there's actual steps that you do and there's a reset button. Let's say you plug this in. This is your on off or reset button. How you reset it is you hold the button for five seconds and normally be flashing. And I don't want to do that because it's actually set to my actual Wi-Fi and connected right now. So once it's all set up, you now have the app and it's quite responsive. Luckily, what you set up to last is where it actually is. So if there's a certain color tone you want, such as my blue tone I use a lot, it's right here. Of course, the one issue is I don't really see any save, save setting. That would be wonderful to actually have. But of course, the responsiveness for colors is, well, quite good. As you can see, it is flashing across behind me. So right now I'm on green. It's actually not very green right now. I can change, say, the brightness. Up or down. But let's say if I really want it really green. Right now my saturation is set to about 69%. And if I set it right up, it comes, well, a lot more green. And then I can scroll down. And it comes more of a, almost a blue tone, which is kind of silly. Because it's supposed to be green. So now if I stay on full saturation and I go through my colors again, you'll see they're quite intense. So if you're looking for a nice strong blue or whatever color that is, you get those nice strong tones. And you also have, can choose white and the brightness, of course, your color temperature, which for me, this is not really working properly, but it might be just a connection. I now got the color temperature working, so let's check this out. So right now it's the blue. Let's bring it to the yellow. Cool. Scenes. So we got your green, which is on the camera for some reason is not as green as I see in person. 
we have Rave, Rainbow. So this one's quite stylish, I find. If you're looking for something that's to go through the different colors. Most of these other ones, I don't find much use to them. There's flashing different colors in this one. Soft just seems to stay here. Leisure. Cocktail. Reading. I don't know how this is reading whatsoever. Night. We're done all the basics of this little app here. That doesn't do all too much, but it does all your basics for what you may want. Power off and power on. And on my phone, if I want to go here, it's this little genie app. A genie. Now, as for the RGB strips itself, I actually cut a piece off. And this piece that's sticking actually pretty decently, just hanging out. I originally had to stuck the table. In fact, I stuck the table twice. It's gathered a bit of dust and such. And I stuck it this other time right here, cut apart from itself. And as you can see, it sticks quite well. Much, much better than our uh, monster strips. So the monster basic strips, this is no comparison. This is much, much better quality for how well it sticks. It has your typical cut lines, but it has six, six little parts to it. So you'll have to get a six pin connector, but there is none to this actual strip here. So the only one I could actually find that actually has a six pin strip that you can purchase anywhere is the one for uh, Philips Hue. So would the Philips Hue work with this? Well, I don't know yet. Some details about this package is it comes on a reel, the strips do, and it's 9.8 feet or three meters. The plug it comes with is this type of plug. So it may be concerned in terms of how much room it takes or depending on how it fits on your socket itself. It doesn't have all those smooth color tones that some people may really want and you might actually be better off with the Philips Hues. We know the cost is much higher, but you do to a point get what you pay for. The actual match, max wattage of this unit is 24 watts and you can get extensions for this and actually extend that 9.8 feet or 3 meters. So the problem I'm about to show here, I'm not sure if many people actually had this issue. Here's my experience. So the connection right here is you got your pins where your controller connects to it and it has this on both sides of it and both times it didn't work properly. So I got this from the store, took it home, connected the power right away on the reel itself just for a moment there. It's like, okay, power's on, seems good. And so I installed it and it was spotty working and not working. And the more I moved this right here, the less it worked till it just did not work. It would flash for a split second and I couldn't leave it working. So you may be able to see here, it doesn't look like a proper connection. In fact, it wasn't. What I had to do here is actually cut my strip in the cut line down here. So cut it and then I had to solder it to the pins of the actual unit itself. Normally this would be encased in plastic, but I cut the plastic so I could actually see what I'm doing and solder it. So this is a major, major problem. And it would stop me from recommending this particular LEDs. So until this gets improved, this strip actually has good potential. It's a lot brighter than many of the other options. This particular strip itself, I actually cut it down to size. I cut it on both ends. So there's no real brain other than this connects to the strip. And this unit right here is the brain of the operation. It does come with these little zip ties right here. It comes, I believe, with four of them. So you can actually tie it down. I actually used a, something that doesn't include, is included with this to actually tack this little corner down. This controller that's normally plastic itself. So it's all done here. The unit itself here does not come with strips that I have tacking it down here as well. It actually comes with a clear 3M plastic, uh, plastic tape, a double-sided tape. And it's not very effective and I had it keep on falling off. The tape on here is no, nowhere near as effective as the one on the strip itself. If I didn't answer any of your questions regarding these strips, please leave a comment below as well as your experience if you actually own these personally. I'd like to actually know. Leave a comment below and we can actually discuss this together. Please leave a like and subscribe to Not Bio so I can bring you more news on RGB strips and maybe test out different ones for you. Leave a comment below on what you'd like to see. Thank you very much for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day.
This is not BIOS Tech and Hardware. So as I see the colors change, we should be able to see these LEDs change on the screen here. So there's three little dots per actual LED here. They're different colors. Your RGB, your red, green, and blue. 